Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. Now gold has uh, gone unexpectedly down. We weren't expecting gold to go down further. Uh, first we were expecting gold will go down, uh, up all the way and then come down. It did not happen. Then I said okay it's gonna probably turn from here but it did not happen too. So it looks like that the above the top target is long gone. We are not worrying about top target now. But still the structure, if you look at the structure, is still messy. We are still, I'm pretty sure, I'm still not sure what's going to happen right now. I am pretty sure about one thing and this is that this is an impulsive move. And starting from this bottom, we have a corrective move. But what sort of correction it is? As soon as the correction is complete, the bearish trend would resume. I have no other second opinion about this, that the bearish trend would move downward. And I think the bearish trend is going to be stronger. The reason is I'm going to mention in a couple of minutes. And the first target I'm looking for is not here, this one, but this one. I'm expecting that we are going to have good $300 drop, $350 drop in the price of gold in next few weeks, couple of months probably. Too early to say about the time period, but somewhere around over there. Let's have a look at the structure itself. First of all, one of the... Uh, regular viewers really appreciate the call. Good call was made in, uh, the, and especially asked me whether we made a top right over here, completing a running flat correction because we were thinking that it's going to be a flat correction. Initially, we were saying that wave A, wave B, and then wave C. I did mention it that it will bounce, that it will come. But for some reason, I thought, because I looking at the structure, I thought no, we had more strength to go on, and it did not happen. The question still occurs is there are two possibilities at this point either that we have completed the running flat which is wave A wave B and wave C that completes right over here now one scary scary issue uh, scary case and that is that we might not be completing a flat correction but we could be completing the double three structure if it is a double three structure, then this is, seems to be a zigzag, all right? That's clearly a flat correction starting from this top to this bottom is a flat correction, which is our second wave in the double three. And this could be another flat, which would be wave three in the double three structure. If this is a possibility, if this is again a possibility that the larger pattern we are looking for, then the price should strictly go up sh like this way. So, in in short, what I'm looking for is today's uh, gold price movement would actually let us know if it actually falls back again today, that would actually indicate that we have completed an expanded flat right over here. But if for some reason gold does not complete a bearish day today and I'm talking about uh, February 17th because right now I, it, it, it's the evening of 16th so we have already started the uh, Wednesday early Wednesday uh, trading in gold as well so my what I'm saying is right now that we have to be uh, careful at the structure we have to wait uh, because we have two counts once again, I'm pretty sure that we have completed an impulse wave starting from the top and to the bottom right over here. As far as the structure is concerned, if it happens to be the running flat, then of course we are moving down. But we are still not sure. There's a possibility that we might see one more jump going up right over here. And the reason I'm saying is that if you look at this price structure, it is strong. It is, of course, impulsive in earlier stages, but it does not match this strength that we have seen over here. So could that be seen that a larger strike price movement downward and give us the strength that we have seen over here? Or there is a possibility that the price would actually jump back up over right over here. In that case, we will be seeing a zigzag, a flat correction, and another flat correction right over here. So both possibilities are there. I'm going to wait for the price action of February 17th to finally see which corrective pattern is occurring. Once again, I'm pretty sure that we have seen this as an impulse movement. This is a messy corrective structure that you're looking at it and then we are looking downward. One thing initially I was saying that probably we'll see the price, the, the deep price movement. It's not going to happen. Reason because we have seen clearly a bounce 
of 50 percent of the impulse wave right over here we can see that right below we have seen the bounce of 50 percent and the prices have been actually uh, now have been regularly in that period of time area of the structure so there is no possibility at least a very low probability of that happening that all of a sudden we see sharp movement upward we don't have a lot of uh, uh, price i guess uh, especially in terms of depth at left we could see sharper movement upward which would be making a completion of wave a wave b and then wave c and then you would see start being if that happened that would be really nice thing because i personally ended up missing this trend this part of the trend i ended up missing and i was really furious on me myself but that's trading um, but still if it drops 350 dollars right from more further over here it's still a good run for us to uh, go I was uh, so looking into capturing the earlier part of the trend but it did not happen but still it's early on if you look at the larger trend downward we are talking about it's still in the early stages let's have a look at silver two possibilities are mm, once again right over here there's a, another possibility that either we have completed the uh, zigzag correction right over here which is wave A, wave B and then wave C probably completed right over here the second possibility is that we might actually see uh, this as a flat correction. So wave A, wave B, and then wave C as a flat correction. And then we would see some price movement upward in this area uh, for next, I would say, two, three days, which will give us an indication that we are creating a top for silver. As you guys can see, silver is not exactly really uh, giving us the impulsive price action if you look at it it is exactly corrective as compared to this move so this is impulsive move this is corrective move as soon as this move is complete we are going to be sure that prices are going to come down let me have a quick uh, do a quick analysis let me draw the percentage and see where are we are at okay see if we can have some more all right this is worrying me now right now reason because normally 50 percent is a very good uh, indicator of strong trend if prices reverse are of somewhere around 50 percent we have already seen the reversal at that moment we have already have seen the reversal so if the structure actually continues that we have wave a wave b then i don't think so that the prices are going to go further deep it means that we are going to create a triple top right over here in this section if prices do go up so we're going to create triple top that will give us one top, second top and third top. It will be right around 50% right just below the wave 2 area, uh, the entrance of wave 2 area. It will be good, good indication that actually silver is going to go down. Reason today is we cannot say with higher accuracy because right now price is still hanging below uh, at the support level. So if you look at the percentage, I, you guys can see uh, that I use equal divisions of 100 percent i don't use fibonacci analysis so if you look at the price analysis itself it did go up but we find a support around 25 percent as well so it has found a good support level so is the possibility that we might see another jump right over here we'll have to have a look at uh, wait for the further price action to see if the correction is complete or is yet not complete thanks for viewing if you like my content please push that thumbs up uh, button it helps uh, for YouTube to recognize that it is a valuable content and it separates it around Thank you so much. Uh, let's see what happened in uh, in a day or uh, and then we'll be able to see uh, Probably by the end of evening tomorrow uh, That what is actually happening whether the correction is going to be up or whether the correction is already complete. Thank you once again Have a good one and bye-bye